What is going on guys? Carter here with Edge Mindset. Got an unboxing for you. Look how big this box is. It is massive. We're going to go right through the top. We're using the Chavez Scapegoat Dirty Steve to open this bad boy up. Now this is an interesting one because uh, I had no intention of buying this knife. It came up in auction. I put in a bid on it just, I don't know, to participate. And then I kind of end up winning. Winning, winning. I ended up winning it and uh, got it for a pretty killer deal. Now, you know, it is a Medford, so those prices are pretty volatile. That is a huge box. Why is this box so big? Okay, I think that's it. Uh, that is the biggest box to knife box I think I've ever encountered. Here we go. I think it's supposed to come with... Yeah, there it is. All right, there it is. Some kind of coin. I'm not even sure exactly. It's a Medford coin. I don't know what it's made out of. Uh, let's see. Let's read it together. Medford Knife and Tool. Uh, accept no substitutions. United States of America. Is this... I mean, it feels titanium-y. The weight of it makes me say titanium. Should have grabbed a magnet. I don't have a magnet handy. Um but it feels lighter than steel. Could be aluminum, but that seems like that would be kind of cheap. So I wonder if the documentation here says anything about it. Uh, let's see. Wow, it is a Thai coin. Came free with the purchase of a knife. Um, normally, supposedly this normally retails for 150, but that's off of Medford.com, so you gotta take that with a grain of salt. But pretty cool. You know, I'm not really a, a coin guy, but this came with it, so. So yeah, this one is 2024, April 10th, 2024. This is a newish model and it comes in the new clamshell zipper case instead of the hard zipper case. Even though it's a new model, it's exactly like one I used to have. It is a TFF1 stonewashed handles. It's got violet accents. Ooh, wow, this thing is tight as a tiger. Stonewash blade, or what they call stonewash blade, even though I would say satin is what I would say on here. Uh, let me take a look at the spec sheet. Does that... This doesn't have the specs on it. They used to put it on the outside of the white box, which I have, and I'm just being dumb because it says it right here. So, uh, S35BN TFF1 tumbled standard blade. I don't know where they get tumbled from. Tumble, handles, violet... Uh, brush violet. Okay. You tell me, does this look like a tumbled blade? And it's not just this one. They always call this tumbled and like I see no tumbling. So I don't, I don't know why they call it tumbling. To me, it's satin. I actually really, wow. I do, man. I got to say like, I've kind of fallen out of graces with Medford. Not really anything in specific. I just kind of stopped liking them. I actually sold every single Medford that I own. Uh, this popped up in the auction. It reminded me of the one I had that was similar to this. Um, and I thought, what the hell? I'll just throw in that bid. Didn't think I would win. I ended up winning. And here it is. But uh, I do kind of like that Medford feel. It's got, I don't know, it's it's kind of doing that hydraulic thing, right? The, the action's still quite stiff. It needs to be broken in. It's only, God, like a month old. Um, but it has that, like, really nice smoothness. I really love the detent. It's got a nice clank to it. Uh, Medfords are always kind of at least built well from a assembly standpoint, you know? It's fairly simple, flat scales. It's big. Uh, not a lot going on, no bearings or anything. But everything is constructed well, especially lately. Like this is nice and centered. Just done really well. Let's check, let's check that lock up there. Nice and early. Um, I don't know. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I almost um, regretted getting it. We'll see. I got this for. Oh, I, I bet you're wondering what's the price? What the price? What's the price? So the auction, my winning bid was two hundred and eighty dollars, and then twenty dollars shipping. So I got this for three hundred dollars to my door, which is a pretty dang good deal, especially for essentially a a brand new TFF one. You know, with the titanium coin, which is cool. Just a little something extra. I do like this model. The Praetorian and the TFF1 are really the only models that I care for. 
Um, and of course, you know, the tie, the Praetorian tie, the, the fat daddy TFF one, uh, all the other ones and eh, not so much, but I do like these. Um, I actually kind of like the design of this knife. It, it, it fits your hand. It looks like if the award was given for the knife that looks least likely to feel comfortable or least likely to fit a hand I th and, and then actually does, I think it would be the TFF one. It, it's actually pretty cool how it fits in here and it's got a little bit of a unique grip that's very comfortable and very nice. Um, and then this square handle doesn't even matter because it doesn't fit in your palm anyways. It just kind of sticks out the back. So uh, I really kind of like it. The original inception of this knife, the the blade, they, they called it the big belly, but the blade actually would kind of curve all the way out. It almost had like a leaf-shaped blade. It was so wide. He uh, Medford quickly changed that style to this one. I assume it's because the blade would be sticking pretty close out the back here. I'm sure on those uh, deep belly versions, the really old versions of this, you'd be able to slice your finger on the back, um, would be my assumption. But uh, And that particular style has never came back since. Hollow ground, you know, I, I, a lot of Medfords are actually pretty dang good slicers. This is really thick stock blade, uh, but look how high it is. And then you've got this nice hollow grind right here. It's not that thick behind the edge. I mean, it's not, you know, within reason. Relatively speaking, you can get Medfords that cut pretty dang good. Like Praetorian Tees, drop points, they cut pretty good. I mean, especially considering how big and beefy they are and all that kind of stuff. So uh, it's cool. I'm glad I got it. I am glad I got it. I was debating. I was like, man, should I, should I acid wash that blade and maybe strip off this purple? I don't know. We'll see. I might do that. Who knows? We'll see. All right, guys, what do you think? Was this a good purchase? 300 bucks for a TFF1 and a Thai coin. Would you pay that for this knife? Let me know down below if you think that was a, a good deal or not. All right, guys, I'm out. Take care. Talk to you later.